So I haven't gone through them yet. I'm going to, going go, to go ahead and answer the questions. So the very first question is uh, from All That's Girly or from Our Love for Fashion. And they asked, when are we meeting next love? So if you saw pictures on our, on our, on our Instagram, uh, me, Our Love for Fashion, Nano and Janu, and Shruti from Shruti XOXO1, we all met in Santa Clara, Santana Row a uh, few months back. Not few months, it's been almost about uh, five or four months, I think. So, <laughs> Nano and Janu, we are going to meet definitely next. And I'm super excited for that. And the next question is uh, from Lalita5718. How did you and your hubby meet and why and how you started making YouTube videos? So me and my husband met through an arranged marriage. Our families knew each other and that's how our profiles got exchanged and we were introduced and we kind of clicked right away and then we got engaged and then got married in six months um, after that. And why I started making YouTube videos. So uh, when I got married and came here to USA, I was super, super bored. I was a stay at home uh, wife and I was used to working in India when I was there. And uh, I was, I think I was trying to pass my time really. And I was never into makeup. Trust me, I was never into makeup when I was in India. You can ask my friends um, who knew me personally back then and back now. The only mascara, uh, the only makeup items I used to have was probably a lip gloss, not even a lipstick, and then maybe a kajal pencil and that's about it. No foundation, no concealer, nothing at all. So um, I stumbled upon Dulce Candy 87's videos. So that's when I discovered that, hey, there exists a, a whole world on YouTube that makes um, that talks about makeup and makeup videos and uh, makeup tutorials and all that great stuff. So after watching few videos I thought hey why not this is going to be a fabulous pastime hobby and that's how I started making my YouTube videos. So um, Pat Patil Lakshmi uh, she asks India to abroad journey and studies, job before marriage and after marriage journey and she says no need to explain in details, you can skip it and uh, explain if, if you're comfortable. So um, India to abroad journey, it definitely was difficult to leave my family behind after uh, getting married. Marriage itself is a big change and the whole concept of moving and relocating your whole life from India to USA it definitely was tough on me and tough on my family and I think I showed that on my husband also because you know you're frustrated at at home and there was so much of snow in Chicago and oh my god it was it was bad and uh, before marriage and after marriage journey it definitely um, I must say it was different and it was not that much different. I mean, I never grew up with a guy sibling. Um, like, I wasn't uh, used to males around me except my father. So it was very, very different, obviously. Very awkward um, getting married and being with a guy, you know. So, yeah, overall, it's it's been four years now and I'm I'm happy. We're doing great. Okay, uh, Samra Hafiz, she says, who is your favorite celebrity? What is your all-time favorite Bollywood movie? Which kind of music do you like to listen? Who is my favorite celebrity? Um, if you come to Bollywood, I love Deepika Padukone. Um, I don't know, acting-wise, acting I'm not really sure, but as a celebrity, as her um, style and her outfits together, I think she really carries off really well. And uh, and who else? Mm, of late, I like Sonakshi Sinha. Um, mainly because she is not that typical zero size, size zero skinny figure that you get to see around. She is that perfect Indian curvy girl that is comfortable in how she looks. And she is absolutely stunningly beautiful in all those Indian outfits. Absolutely love her. I'm sure she is a huge, huge uh, idol to all of those girls who are not size zero as uh, as like me. And I really like how she carries herself. So those two I can say. Um, what is your all-time favorite Bollywood movie? 
This is sound. This is going to sound so cliched, but I think I love Dilwale Dulhare Le Jayenge D D L J because I was really young when that movie came up, and uh, you have this whole fantasy that you'll meet someone, you'll go get lost, explore a new country. Um, so yeah, that was one of my favorite movies. Which kind of music do you like to listen? Uh, well, I typically don't uh, confine myself to a specific type of music, but I'm. I'm a really romantic, soft music kind of person, so I can hear to romantic love songs all the time, all the time. And she also asks, "What is your favorite drugstore makeup brand?" Uh, well, a couple of you guys have asked, "What is my favorite uh, makeup brand?" So I have to choose between Revlon and Maybelline. Those two are my favorite makeup brands because I have tried a lot of stuff from those two brands. Um, high end. I don't go too much into that. Uh, I've tried on and off things like my foundations are high end from Nars and Mac uh, and stuff like that. But for main drugstore makeup brands, I think I like Maybelline just a little over Revlon. Amina Hassan asks, "Tell us about your profession. I mean, you don't have to go into great detail, but I really want to know what you do and stuff. Of course, I don't want to get too personal." Uh, so as a profession, I'm a software engineer. I've I've moved from Chicago to to uh, California. I work here right now, and me and my husband are doing a long distance relationship right now, long distance marriage right now. Um, about my profession, I'm sorry, I don't want to go into any details because this is the internet, and I don't want to disclose uh, my professional um, job details here. So sorry, I'm skipping that question. And she, uh, Samra Hafiz also asked, uh, "Do you have any hobbies?" Of course, YouTube is my biggest hobby right now, and I love singing, I love dancing, and um, I'm really into DIY stuff in the last few years. So I really like um, trying to bring out my creativity, and of course, I love uh, spending my time watching YouTube videos on makeup, or cooking, or um, yeah, so these are my hobbies right now, and I'm trying to get into um, an exercise routine, which I should have done a long time back. But I'm trying to get into a fitness regime. So, yep. Suman Dehek asks, "Your favorite YouTubers?" So my favorite YouTubers are um, Mr. Jovita George. I love watching Deepika makeup. I love watching Snake from Indian Beauty. And uh, who else? I love our love for Fashion Anu and Janu. They are like the Indian version of Eleventh Gorgeous, Stephanie and Tracy. So I really love watching their videos. And who else? A lot of guys. And uh, I like Emily Noel eighty three. I like Holly Forrest. I like um, watching Coffee Break with Danny. Coffee Break with me. Woo hoo! She is really really fun. I love watching her videos. She's so much of energy and enthusiasm and positivity. And uh, I love watching all that makeup fresh. She is I, I absolutely love Katie's videos, all that fresh. And uh, who else? Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton of awesome YouTubers that I watch. I love Superwoman's videos. She is hilarious. Um, I love watching that. Um, I don't know who that guy, that guy's name, um, Zayed. Zayed or someone he he makes these really funny videos comparing brown parents and American parents and all those funny comparison videos. I love watching him. So, and I'm sure I'm missing a ton of uh, lovely YouTubers. So sorry about that. Nitya two six six asks, does your family know about a YouTube channel? Yes, all of my family knows. I mean, most of my family knows. My cousins, uh, my parents, my husband, my husband's parents, my sister in law. A whole bunch of uh, family members know about my YouTube channel. I've never been shy about it uh, because I really thought it's something unique um, that I was doing, and I thought I should share my makeup tips or my makeup thoughts with uh, all of those girls uh, because I have a lot of girl cousins. So I thought I'll share with them. So yeah, a, a ton of my family knows about my YouTube channel. And she also asks my favorite band. Uh, I don't have a favorite band, but I really, really, really love. Um, who is this guy? 
I forgot his name. I always forget his name. Oh my God, Maroon Five, the the singer from Maroon Five. I've I've been sing. I've been hearing his songs almost from She Will Be Loved, like a very very long time back. I absolutely love that guy. I don't remember his name now. Oh my God, and I love Imagine Dragons and yeah, a lot of bands. I don't like. I'm not a band band fan, but yeah, I do listen to a lot of um, bands. Okay, Cat Eyes Damsel, Chitra from Cat Eyes Damsel, she asks a bunch of questions here. Uh, so, what do you like to cook for your hubby? So, my husband's favorite dishes are um, spinach dal and he loves, loves potato fry curry. That's his favorite combination. So, I love cooking that for him. Even it, even though it's simple and it's it's really easy and fast to cook that's his favorite so sometimes i do like to cook that for him what cuisine you like most and um, i like thai i like mexican um i like mediterranean i like um uh, i recently tried uh, something i'm yeah mediterranean i think um uh, we tried, uh, they have something very similar to our Indian dosa or Indian crepe that was really good. I forgot the name. Uh, sorry, I forgot the name, but I really love all these cuisines. How do you feel if you don't get time to film nowadays? I feel really, really sad that I don't get that much time to film nowadays because it is time consuming to film, to come up with an idea, to edit the video and to upload it. It all takes time. It is a process. So it does take a lot of time to come up with the video idea and then to record and edit it. So I do feel sad. I am trying to keep up with all your video requests. What is your dream vacation and how do you want to surprise your husband for something special you always wanted to do? Um, usually I surprise my husband by... Um, surprising him <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not going to spare any secrets here he watches my videos so i don't want to give give up any details um what is your dream vacation i would really love to do a euro trip i want to go to europe miss crazy kra is asking when will you come back to india i'm not sure when i'm going to come back to india i did visit india in 2012 and I'm not really sure when I'm going to visit India next. So, um, yeah. Alison, my favorite Alison. Alison Yap uh, TY, that's her username on Instagram. She's asking, do you enjoy your job so far? Yes, I love my job so far. It is really, really good. Amrita Danjil 88. Hi, Amrita. How are you? She asks, one of your favorite lipstick from MAC. My favorite lipstick from MAC is Captive. Let me show that um, captive and chili. So I have chili right here. Chili is a beautiful burnt orangish red right here. That's how it looks like. And captive is a beautiful muted pink. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I think it's in my makeup uh, bag in my um, uh, office handbag. So yeah, captive is a really really nice uh, color. Uh, it's just me Jamie is also asking what's your favorite brand of makeup and like I just answered Revlon and make uh, Maybelline are my favorite brands Maybelline just a little more because I've tried a lot of varieties from Maybelline like their foundation their eyeshadows eyeliners mascaras so yeah Nagma Nagma also asked the same question and uh, there you go I just answered it for you and she also, Nagma7 is also asking, what do you miss most in India? Well, definitely first my family because all of my family is in India. And I miss my niece, my sister's daughter. Um, she's an absolute adorable child. Uh, I really miss her because she's growing up fast and I'm not there around to spoil her rotten. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so Fancy Curtain, she's asking, since how long have you been making YouTube videos and what do you think has changed or improved in all those years? And how did you start making videos and were you always been interested in makeup? So I just answered the last part of my question previously um, and uh, I think it's been about almost uh, two years plus for sure that I started making YouTube videos 
and I think I used to be really camera shy. I was not that good with makeup when I started making videos on YouTube. And uh, yeah, now I think I'm much, much better. I'm more confident. I try experimenting with different makeup looks. And yes. So I think that's about it. Uh, Sarika Raghu, she asked uh, that she's a newbie to makeup and skincare. And uh, she wanted to know how often it's uh, good to use these uh, Aveeno or Neutrogena facial cleansers and do they harm your skin. So I actually answered her uh, question on my Instagram but still I'm going to answer it here as well. I don't recommend using these cleansers, I mean uh, not these makeup remover wise on a day to day basis. Uh, usually I try to remove uh, makeup with uh, natural oil or uh, either uh, cleansing milk or just raw milk itself and I just use some cotton, it takes off every single trace of makeup from my face. So that's about it for my question and, a, uh, question and answer video this time. So I hope you found answers to all the questions you asked on my Instagram account. Let me know in the comment section below if I've answered your questions or if you have any more questions, I will pick it up, pick up questions from this comment section for my next Q&A video. So I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely go ahead, subscribe, hit the thumbs up video if you have enjoyed this video. And follow me also on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter accounts to stay updated with all my latest photos. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.